Every once in a while, we like to look in with the American public and find out who do you blame for the gridlock that's going on right now? The do nothing Congress in Washington. Voters aren't gonna have much sympathy for a party fully in power, not getting absolutely anything done. This Congress invented the word do nothing Congress. Government sucks at doing stuff. Let's begin today's Wednesday show. Hi everybody and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Roseanne Barr is having a rough couple of days, most would say deservedly so, following the cancellation of her hit ABC comedy series, Roseanne Barr has been dropped by her talent agency, ICM Partners. The agency said in a statement late Tuesday, we are all greatly distressed by the disgraceful and unacceptable tweet from Roseanne Barr. What she wrote is antithetical to our core values, both as individuals and as an agency. Consequently, we have notified her that we will not represent her further. Effective immediately, Roseanne Barr is no longer a client. Barr signed with ICM Partners last summer ahead of the premiere of the Roseanne revival on ABC. Meanwhile, Viacom is pulling Roseanne reruns from its Paramount Network, TV Land, and CMT channels. The syndication scheduling change follows the recent news. Additionally, Laugh, a digital network that programs reruns of sit Coms spanning the last few decades has also made the same call. Hulu also confirmed Tuesday it would be dropping episodes of the Roseanne revival. Well, in an effort to increase the safety of its passengers as well as help law enforcement locate callers, Uber has officially launched its 911 in-app calling feature. The feature allows customers to contact law enforcement by tapping a safety icon in the bottom right corner of the app. It went live today. So on your Uber app, you see that little little police shield right there with the check mark in the middle? It's right on the main screen. You hit that, you're going to get this safety toolkit. You come here to 911 assistance, the last choice, and you're going to get this big red button, call 911. But look what else you get. Now Uber tells you exactly where you are and what to tell the dispatcher. It's saying that I'm at 360 Lamar Street. That's my estimated current location. It's telling me the car I'm in, a Toyota Prius, gives me the license plate number two, all information right at your fingertips to tell the dispatcher. I hit call 911, hit call, and we're going to see how this works. 911 operators standing by. Remember, they have no idea where I am, and neither do I, near this field somewhere. I only know what the app says on my screen. 911, what is the address of the emergency? I'm at 360 Lamar Street. I'm at a Toyota Prius with the license plate number 680JNG, and I need some police help. Okay, I'm going to dispatch police to you right away. Uber says the app will automatically send your name, exact location, make, model, color, and license plate number of your Uber to 911 dispatch the moment you hit the button, even if you can't speak. It's time for things I've learned from movies. Let me tell you something, my friend. Hope is a dangerous thing. Hope can drive a man insane. Hey, say what you want, but Roseanne was very presidential yesterday. Meanwhile, don't worry too much about Roseanne. She'll be just fine. I mean, she could go work in the White House or she could own an NFL team. She'll be okay. Roseanne says she was ambient tweeting when she tweeted her racist comments. You know, if there's anything we've learned this year, it's that sleeping pills and famous comedians don't mix. China has approved 13 new Ivanka Trump trademarks there, raising significant questions about corruption. And if by raising questions you mean definitely answering the question, then yes. The world stock exchanges have plummeted on news that the Italian economy is in shambles. How is this possible? On Mother's Day, there was a lineup around the block at every Olive Garden in town. 
Authorities in Massachusetts rescued nearly 400 roosters from a cockfighting ring. Despite the roosters' violent training, authorities say they went along peacefully and in fact were even much better behaved than Conor McGregor. You know that story earlier this week from Paris about the child who had to be rescued from dangling on the edge of the balcony? Well, it turns out that his father was distracted by video games. You know, that's not going to look good at the custody hearing. Delta is rolling out new redesigned uniforms for its staff. People are complimenting Delta reservation agents on the new look right before they lose their shit on them because their flight is delayed. For the fourth year in a row, the same two basketball teams will meet in the NBA Finals. It's a trick they've learned from Hollywood. Keep making sequels as long as they keep making money. Time for Nobody Gives a f- Two melons sold for a record $30,000 in Japan. Wow, Whole Foods prices are sure getting out of control. Hey, mush melons, nobody gives a f- Sources say that Andrew Lincoln is leaving The Walking Dead. That's like the zombie world's version of Steve Carell leaving the office. Hey, zombies, nobody gives a f- And Richard Nixon's old California estate is on the market for $63.5 million. It comes with everything, well, almost everything. The tapes are sold separately. If you don't get that joke, ask your parents. Hey, Tricky Dicky, nobody gives a f***. Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of The Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out NSS Live, starring Frank D'Angelo and his celebrity panel of guests, Tuesdays and Thursdays. NSS Live.